Hey guys, it's Dr. Justin Marcajana here. Today's video is gonna be on healthy gut function can help improve and boost your immune system. We're gonna talk about your gut, what about it makes your immune system work better, and things your gut does to help improve your body's ability to fight infections. We're gonna dive in. Before we do, please smash that like button. Really appreciate it. Put your comments down below. Let me know about your immune stress right now, things you've done to help boost your gut and or immune function. Really appreciate it. All right, so let's dive in. You have a localized immune system called the GALT and the MALT. So this is lymphoid tissue that lines the, the GALT, which is the stomach-associated lymphoid tissue. So for instance, let's draw this out so it makes sense. If here's the inside of your stomach like this, this area right here, this would be the the GALT right here. This is the GALT stands for gastric associated lymph, lymphocytes, which are white blood cell tissue. And these cells are actually gonna live in here. Now, why is this important? Because what's your gut interacting with every single day, every single time you eat? It's interacting with food. So this is really important because if you don't wanna get weak in regards to your body and your immune system, don't make your immune system go after bad foods. So a good kind of whole foods paleo template is a good approach because you don't want to have your immune system start stressing out because certain foods are coming into play, whether it's gluten, you know, refined whole dairy, lots of refined sugar, bad things like that. So that's gonna stress out your immune system. So one is, hey, look at the immune system in your GALT in your stomach and don't stress it out with bad food. Same kind of thing with the intestines. We have similar stuff with the small intestine. Okay, in the small intestine, we also have a lot of these things. We have a lot of microvilli in the small intestine as well. So we have microvilli. These are kind of like little vacuum cleaners here that will like suck up a lot of the nutrients. So if we have like vitamin C come in here, right? Vitamin D, vitamin A, these nutrients get sucked up through these microvilli, okay? And also in here, this is where our immune response is. So we have our immune response also here too. And again, this is gonna be a little bit different. This is gonna be the malt, okay? Same kind of thing, mucus-associated lymphoid, or mucosa-associated lymphoid tissue. That's where that immune cells are gonna live. Now again, if we have infections, that's gonna create stress on these microvilli. So we know things like celiac disease wear down these microvilli, right? Celiac kind of wears it down. And then that affects, one, it affects your body's ability to absorb nutrition, but two, it also affects your immune system too. And so I find a lot of people that have a weak immune system because of their gut, it's not so much that their gut is weak, it's that their gut is so preoccupied fighting things it shouldn't be having to fight. It's kind of like you're worried about the neighbor next door robbing you. Well, you're chronically stressed, right? They're, they're, they're probably not gonna rob you, right? right? So the food's probably not gonna hurt you. It's not like an infection. We don't have to be overreacting to it, but that's what's happening in our GALT, and this is our stomach. Just so we know here, this is our stomach. Okay. And then we have the malt, and this is gonna be our small intestine. Small intestine. Okay, so really important. Now also, in the small intestine, we have other nutrients that are vital for our immune system, okay? We have a couple things that are being produced. We have different kinds of B vitamins. We have B1, which is gonna be thymine. We have B2, which is gonna be riboflavin. We have B3 which is gonna be niacin, we have B9, that's folate by the way, folate's really important, and then also we have B12, methylmalonic, methylated B12. So these are really important. We also are gonna have good bacteria. Okay, we also have things like butyrate, butyric acid. Butyrate's the same kind of fat we see in butter, right? But butyric acid, does a couple of things. Butyric acid, one, it's an acid. It's gonna make it harder for a lot of the bad bacteria to grow. So infections and bacteria and virus tend to not like an acidic environment. So it makes it harder for those critters to grow. And then our immune cells love that. Our immune cells love it. It keeps the immune system strong. Good fatty acids are our immune system's friend. Also with a lot of gut function 
There's a lot of autoimmunity that starts in the gut. Autoimmunity starts in the gut and it starts in the gut via leaky gut, right? We have gut permeability. And again, leaky gut is the same thing as gut permeability. Those tight junctions open up and it allows undigested food particles to get into the bloodstream, which stresses out the immune system. So a lot of theorists, for instance, Alessio Fasano says, he's a gastroenterologist at Harvard, says that almost all autoimmunity starts in the gut. And if you have an increased autoimmune response, you're gonna have a weakened immune system. Okay, it's very important. Now, immune boosting nutrients are important. We already talked about the B vitamins, very important. B1, B2, B3, B9, we talked about those. We also have things like vitamin C. You're not gonna get as much of that, but you need healthy absorption of these nutrients, right? If you have good B vitamin C in there, or if you're consuming vitamin D, you're making it um, you know, from a supplement, you need to absorb it. So we need to have good gut function to absorb. We get the B vitamins. We also have vitamin K1 and K2. Vitamin K is very important. And then of course, zinc and a lot of minerals that we need good hydrochloric acid levels from. So really important, localized immune system. This is where 80% of your immune system is. And again, how it works when you, when you create an antibody and you tag, a protein. So let's say you have uh, this virus here, okay? What happens is we tag it with an antibody. So we tag it. So if you ever go to like a big city like San Francisco, I used to live there, you'd park your car, right? And the parking attendants would come by and they'd put a piece of chalk and they'd put a, a mark across the back tire. And what we used to do is to come back and erase that mark. But that mark was there to tag to tag you, so then when they came back an hour later, if you were still there, they knew you were there and they wrote you a ticket, right? We used to like erase that, but your immune system is doing something similar. It's tagging that virus, and then that allows other immune cells, other T cells, or natural killer cells to kind of come in there and be able to attack it later, all right? So your immune system tags stuff very similarly, and with a healthy gut function, because so much of your antibodies are here in the gut and the malt, it really, really helps your immune response. So again, if you have an immune issue or you wanna have a stronger immune system, or you have an autoimmune or a chronic gut issue and you wanna dive in deeper and work with myself or colleagues below, you'll see a link below to, to schedule. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure you click the subscribe button, give me a like, hit the bell for great notifications, and I hope you enjoy more content to come. This is Dr. J signing off. Take care, bye.